Right guys, this is going to be my third solo nightfall for the week. Um, for those that just want to see the run, then skip to the time on the screen. The rest of you, I'll show you my modifiers, weapons and stuff. The nightfall that we'll be doing is the Pyramidian. So, the nightfall challenge card is still available this week. And the score multiplier is not. So even though we've got the card, you cannot gain score in this uh, nightfall this week. So the modifiers that I'm using uh, is Arc Singe, Heavyweight, so that's our two multipliers that we've chose. And Momentum, which is really important uh, for our playstyle, what I'm going to show you now. Like I said in the title of the video, we're running three shotguns. So Momentum's going to help out a lot for that. I could have went Devour, Warlock and three shotguns. That would have probably worked better, but I ended up just going Stormcaller. So for the um, shotguns that I'm using first, in my kinetic slot, which used to be a heavy weapon, the Paradox, now it's a kinetic weapon, I'm using Perfect Paradox. The main uh, perk about this one is Rampage, which is fantastic, because we're now using it like a primary, uh, and it's fantastic on trash mobs. It's better than Arcalos actually, because Arcalos uh, is kind of doing less damage now, although it has trench barrel, and it still does a lot of damage, certainly. but. When we're analysing it for killing trash mobs, this weapon's better because you constantly have Rampage times 3. As for uh, our special weapon shotgun, I don't have many arc shotguns available to me in the special slot. So this is what I had to deal with, but this shotgun's actually very good. We crit it as a lot of range. So if you, get it, if you can crit an ard from uh, a lot of range, it's gonna it's gonna do work actually it's a very good one and it has full auto it's a new monarchy year uh, one uh, shotgun and it has high cal so for our power weapon this is the main main powerhouse if you like the legend of Acrius. so we have arc singe and heavyweight so Acrius does a lot of damage as is if you combine arc singe and heavyweight you're gonna do a lot of damage with that so there's our three shotguns now, I wanted to do this solo like this to see how the ammo economy would work um, with having three shotguns. And these two weapons are basically tied to special weapon ammo and this is heavy weapon. But, how does it work when, you know, you're running out of ammo? Well, it's basically like having Juggler on. So Juggler in D1, people, if D2 players don't know, what Juggler was is... The um, weapon that you had in your hands that you were killing ads with, you wouldn't get ammo with ammo for. So I was killing ads with this weapon. I'm not going to get ammo for this weapon. I'm going to get ammo for these two weapons instead, and vice versa. Juggler's not on to that extent, but it's just on uh, to an ex to a little bit. So you're more likely to get ammo drops. Um, if you if you kill them, if I'm killing ads with perfect paradox, I'm more likely to get ammo for uh, these two. Whereas if I'm killing um, ads with the Acrius and I'm depleted ammo on my two shotguns here, I'm more likely to get ammo on these two shotguns. So that's kind of like how it works. You'll see more of it in the run itself. You'll see it happening, uh, and you can definitely play three shotgun style. How it's going to play out in raids and stuff like that, I don't know. But for this, uh, you can still do it. You can still definitely... You just need to be efficient with how you're using your weapons and when. So, Arcris, you're going to be using that more for boss damage and orange bars. Okay? And, like said, my Perf Paradox and this special shotgun. More for arc shielded enemies, this one. And more for trash mobs on this one. So, as I said, I'm using Stormcaller. Um, pulse Grenades. And power and rift first glide and bottom tree bottom tree just because i like the axle having the axle with me uh, and the rising storm perk so your melee um recharges your super and your grenade and the melee itself if we combine that with momentum you're going to get your melee up all the time therefore you can farm your pulse nade energy this way so that's why run bottom tree and landfall I really like landfall because it blinds my uh, the enemies. 
As for armor, uh, the only thing that really matters here is Lunar Faction boots. So we want now our automatic reloads with that. So that's the modifiers and everything. Alright guys, so on with the run. So for starters, spawn my sparrow. Don't want to walk up here and out of my way up there. Now you're gonna have two different um, two different rotations of ads. So you can either have snipers or harpies in re in replace of the snipers. Uh, so the nightfalls are now fixed properly where they rotate all the encounters like they did in day one properly. So for example Southern Song you'll see a fallen edition on that. Stuff like that. So they're gonna be fully rotational. Once I've collected one play I wanna take out my snipers while keeping my mentiv active. It keeps me alive as you can see. And what I'm doing here is just rotating between my shotguns. So one stage I might go on a rampage with the uh, Acreus, then I'll swap. Just to ensure that uh, I'm getting sufficient ammo drops, which I am, I've got plenty of ammo of all my shotguns. And we're picking up the second plate. Now I know I'm going to have two major uh, Vex Goblins in mid and to my left. It's all about trying to kill them, spawn kill them as quick as I can. Once I kill these two goblins here, then uh, I want to stay behind this block and get my health first. It's a good place to do an empowering rift because what will happen is the two Vex Minotaurs will rush me and they are a one shot with, with uh, Acreus, especially in a rift. Like you've seen there, I used uh, all three shotguns. Uh, at once at least so, just to make sure like I say I'm getting the, the ammo drops another thing what I've found is when you go in between areas if you don't have ammo for a certain weapon it just gives you ammo for whatever reason it's just something it does this rotation can also be different so it's not just one rotation and that's it throughout the nightfall no it rotates so here I could have had taken um, which would have been bad for me actually because the Taken addition in this next room is hard to do with three shotguns. Very hard to do. So to avoid those two snipers there I went round the right side and just made sure that momentum was rocked at all times to get past. So now I know that I've had Vex there, I know that I'm definitely going to get Vex in this room. Um, which I know then there's going to be three major harpies to take out, so what I like to do make this jump here, kill one, get a reload and I've got another two harpies to kill. If you have the catalyst for Acreus this would make it uh, a lot better to be honest. Then you get six bullets, seven bullets or whatever it is. So now we just need to kill enough goblins to spawn in the next phase. You don't need to kill all goblins for the next phase, just a certain percentage. As you see in there with this shotgun, that my special shotgun, if you get crates, has a lot of range. A lot. So when the next spawn comes in, I want to take out these two harpies behind me. Then what I like to do is kind of do a rift more for the axle. And then I do a pulse nade here so that the adds kind of sit in my pulse nade and then they gather up and I can use a super. I'm more concerned with taking out all the goblins as I have plenty of shotgun ammo to take um, all the uh, minotaurs. These harpies aren't too much of a problem either, you can just kind of shoot one and the their arc shield explodes on each other.
So my strat for this room there, basically, was to use Paradox mainly for the goblins, Red Bar goblins, use Acrius on the Minotaurs, and use the special weapon shotgun on the Arc Shield enemies. And as you've seen, my ammo's all healthy, no problem. Now with Arc Singe being on, these Arc Shields can wreck you, especially the drop coming up next. Like you seen there, I was killing the goblins with my heavy and a melee there as well and I ended up getting special weapon ammo. That's an example of juggler being, a, being on in the game. And so, we proved the resilience of camaraderie. so with this room I had the vex rotation not taken so uh, what my goal is to kind of do is take out these goblins behind me and kind of leave the harpies as I have no long range weapons, so the snipers are kind of a pain for me, so I have to kind of take out the three snipers at the back, but that will then spawn in ads, I know that, but it's the only way to get round taking the snipers out, because leaving snipers up is always a, a bad idea. So now we're using again Acrius for Minotaurs, and uh, my special weapon shotgun for Abyss. I mean, in this room, like you see, we've got three plates to collect, so I'll get left plate first, and then we'll collect middle and right at the same time. But first, plate out the room, so it's a good time to use my super and stuff. We'll also have two, um, two hydras spawn on this rotation, which they had a one shot with um, Actress also. And we can use super to clear, quickly clear out the room. Okay, so now uh, we're actually wanting a super as quickly as we can. So we're going to actually take time to clear out any ads we come from. As it's important to have a super for the next room coming up. Because we have only three shotguns and it's a long range battle, uh, soap is important and grenades are important as well. You'll see my you'll see me use my melee, the rising storm perk, to effectively get pulse nades for when I want them. Here, I'll patch him in. Impossible. Impossible. But could it? No, 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 no. That's that's impossible. Impossible. I think a better loadout than what I have right now would be two shotguns in Darcy. That way you've got two sh two um, close range and then Darcy as your long range weapon. I think that would be a actually a better loadout. Okay, so we're, like I said, we're clearing out all ads just for super. A major and take a knight at the back. This next bit that we're coming up to can be very dangerous because we have the, like I said, no long range. Um, presents a problem with this centurion as if you get too close to him, he'll do his shield knock back and knock you into the arc lasers, which will kill you. So I've opted just to kind of run past him and be lucky. You can shoot the box next to him. Also. So notice I have a pulse nade up which is important for my strats as I want to kill the two snipers in this um, tower room. Taking out the snipers is critical. Also like I said, we, it's nice to have a super so we're waiting on that as well while using our melee so I'll proc momentum to get my melee back. To then use that to get my pulse nade back. Now we have super. This is the tower here that can be troublesome because of the two the, the two centurions. They can knock you off the map and stuff. It's just good to clear them out.
It's a part of time I've done that, I'll have a pulse nade up for the second sniper. Once we take out these two snipers, this room's pretty safe from it's safer than what it was anyway. As my goal is to try and kill the least amount of ads as I can in this room. Okay, so we get the first scanner ball. Now the next set of ads have only spawned in once you push up um, above a certain line in the map and they haven't spawned up yet. So what that means is we can run to the back of the map, get a tower for free. We can scan the tower before the ads spawn in. Which I end up choosing the right side tower. Then when I've done that, I'm looking to um, get the middle tower I think. And also try and get a pulse nade. Use my melee, get my pulse nade, and I want to use that on the left tower. And then we can go for mid. Also you'll have uh, phalanxes in middle, they always try to push you off the map so I like to kill them. So now we've cleared out underneath, that's a safe zone for me, so when I'm scanning towers, uh, I can then go ahead and go back down the middle. And just wait out the four, the four of four. But notice I didn't use much heavy at all, I don't think I used any in that room, didn't need to. Uh, as I'm wanting plenty of heavy for the boss coming up. Not the pit? What pit? There is no pit in the Pyramidian. Uh, I mean, yes. Silly me. Here's the lake now. So, for what I do with this boss on the first phase of damage, because you can't really one phase this boss with Acreus. It's not the damage that's the problem, it's, it's how slow Acreus is. Um, but we can do two thirds of his damage at least by using Axel and Power and Rift, Pulse Nade and Acrius Shots. Problem is, what you want to do is try and get him to come to you to do the damage, which is the perfect spot here. If you duck as well, he'll kind of come to where you want him to. So do an Empower and Rift, a Pulse Nade, and then I'll try and crit him as his head's coming towards me when he's doing his slam. And that, those three shots there, will get him two thirds. So now we have to collect the plates. This is actually an easy easy part of the whole nightfall because, like I say, you've got three shotguns, it's no problem to deal with the trash mob. The most important thing is kind of avoiding these snipes, like places like here where I'm standing, he can't snipe me. He can do his purple blast though. Gotta watch out for. On that plate, I like to take the goblins before I take the plate. Just to safer, safer way of doing it. Now, because we've done so much damage, the boss is going to immediately teleport. He's going to teleport over there, which we could possibly kill him right there, uh, but the timing's tight on him. Okay, so for this plate, I like to use a suit, but also as just a little more awkward to shot you them all. As on the next plate, it's very easy to, to shotgun them all. For this next plate, there's a lot of cover. This, this block right here, I can do an Empower and Rift. Get the increased range, damage. Just um, take safety. And the boss won't bother you either from here. So He may do his purple blast occasionally, but... Once we pick up this plate, as soon as we have, we need to make a... Um, we need to sprint to the back of the map, because he's going to teleport. Because of his AI, he'll teleport to the back of the map and then middle. Um, but if we can kill him here, then we will. 
So we can do a pull snare and then two accurate shots. We'll finish him. Yeah, that was the uh, triple shotgun style Nightfall solo. It works out pretty well, better than maybe people think. Um, a three sniper one would be good to do. Uh, things like this, so I'll try different things out. Um, but yeah, that was my first solo for the week. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.